I feel like I'm all over the place because I just I don't know what to do. Hey guys, so we have to brace ourselves for a very long video. It's basically a huge decluttering, organizing video. Just prepping myself for the new year 2021 and the new school term which is gonna start on January 11. This video is categorized into sections. So I'll place the timestamps here on the screen or in the bottom. So just check it out on what you are in for. So there are still a couple of things I wanted to mention and that is um, my absence in vlogging. Um, I decided not to place a video for my final season and for the holidays. I will say that yeah, my final season was very chaotic. However, it was super for you guys. It's gonna be boring. It's just gonna be redundant because it's super similar to like my other online classes vlogs because you know again I'm in my room so since I'm not gonna be putting out the vlog for finals then I will at least show you guys what I did for finals so for my religious experience course um it was really boring. It was just one of the obstacles of my majors. We had to record ourselves um, evaluating and explaining if there is a difference. How was your life before taking the course itself and how has your life changed like religiously and spiritually? So the next course is interior accessories design. It was similar to my midterms. <laughs> if you saw my midterms, um, we had to make the accessories design here. We had to make prototypes, but this time for the finals output, what did we do again? <laughs> oh, we had to make more accessories, but one of the good things about it is that it was mostly digital perspectives. So we had to make three, three accessories, of course, with cohesiveness to it. And we also had to design an event. I know mine was a family reunion. So these are my three accessories. I had a vase, a candle holder, and, and a wall mirror. Then we have the mood board. Then next we have interior landscaping. The final output was to uh, propose plants that you were gonna use for your bedroom, your work area, and your bathroom. You have to create plans, so you have floor plans with a plant palette. So it's kind of like a mood board, but with the plants that you were gonna use. I chose plants that would survive low light and can remove radiation. According to research, these are the plants that could do so. After that, you have elevations and your perspectives. Then, yeah, that's it. And then for the last subject, the subject that caused me a lot of pain, a lot of stress. So this is interior design 4. So final season was focused more on hotels. My professor in interior design 4, she was like prompting us to submit our hotel proposals for Asia's Young Designers Awards. So in this competition, as long as you're um, third to fourth year in college and you're in either interior design or in the architecture department you can enter this competition and what's really like nerve-wracking about it was that it was our first time to enter a competition digitally online for the competition we had to submit like three or four boards these are my boards right here and it was my first time creating like a2 presentation boards which is kind of cool when you're done with it but really nerve-wracking when you're like in the process of making it note that the competition and the final grade is different the actual finals requirement was just to place the plans in different sheets so you have your floor plans your elevations rcp floor covering plans perspectives a lot of perspectives and then you have your ff and e's and then your research paper then you have your analytical frameworks as well and you have your detailed drawings so those are my finals and yeah 
that's it. I also wasn't able to film any holiday vlogs because I just really wanted to cherish my break. And we're gonna finally move on to how I organize my life, my chaotic self. So the first preparation was to get rid of the digital junk and make space for future junk. For my laptop, I sorted out all my outputs into different folders. And for my phone, I also sorted out my photos as well. In my phone, there are a lot of screenshots from like my school website. Because I look at my photos app a lot, so when I see that screenshot, I'm like, oh crap. I have to submit something. <laughs> that was like the simplest preparation because I was just laying in bed. <laughs> For the second preparation was to start journaling digitally and to plan digitally. I'm a visual learner and I don't know, I just like to write. So with GoodNotes, um, I actually have a template already that I got from A. Hong. I will link her down below. So this is like an example. So as you can see, like in one calendar, you get a glimpse of how your month was like. And as you can see, this is what my month looks like. And so I hope to carry that out throughout my year and the future years. <laughs> it's like a substitute to my old physical journals. But this time, I'm not harming the environment for wasting paper and ink. So the second app is Notion. I've actually used this ever since I was in first year uh, college. However, I just realized that I wasn't maximizing the use out of it. The difference of Notion with GoodNotes is that GoodNotes will be for my creative and personal documentation, so journaling. While Notion is like for the dead serious planner, my second brain. So the reasons why I I'm doing all of these uh, digital organizing and my setting up a digital planner is because 2020 felt like I wasted a year of my life. Looking back at it now, it all feels like a blur. I can't really tell you the specifics because my memory retention has deteriorated a lot. And I just wanted to thank all those channels that put out how to make how to personalize your own notion to your own needs and i also wanted to like mention twirling pages youtube channel because she made the template that i'm actually using right now welcome to my notion which i call nikki's moving castle because i'm that obsessed with house moving castle again i'd like to shout out to twirling pages this channel for the super organized template which i modified to fit my life and my needs the first aspect of notion that made me hooked to it is its ability to add the fun stuff such as quotes icons photos gifs in this front cover yes i call it the front cover as you can see by this tea. It consists of links that will direct you to different pages of my Notion. And it's pretty obvious that I use a lot of illustrations and Studio Ghibli or Ghibli because I'll be looking at my Notion almost every day. So I might as well make it pleasing to my eyes since this is my second filing cabinet. So let's head first to the heart of this notion, which is my home. I go here the most because it's my second filing cabinet or second functioning brain. I document and I get a glimpse of my general agenda. I'll go more in depth later on, but this is what I mean with general agenda. So I got my weekly tasks and once I'm finished with the task, I choose to archive it, so like this, just because my memory is really bad and at least I get to see what I did in that Monday or in Monday in general. Below the weekly agenda is my classroom, so we have a school task tracker. And here I introduce my second fave aspect of Notion, which is their databases. And it lets you get really specific with tracking and organizing. There are different types of databases. You just uh, type in the dash, the slanting line. And if you see over here, 
you scroll down and you see databases so you can choose if you want a table a board a gallery or list and calendar or timeline which is a new feature inline means that it's gonna appear within the page but if you click on full page then it will create a new page with a database in it so let's go back to the classroom in all databases that you make you can customize the properties of each database so the properties are the columns here so let's say for my school tasks tracker we have the name of the activity or the task and then the due date the status if you've started or not so you can choose here then you have the topic of your activity and then the type and you can just add more properties to fit your organizing needs and what's so neat with the database is that you can open each row as a page so let's say we open this one below that you can place the instructions specific instructions of the activity in case your memory is bad as mine so yeah and then you can just type whatever you want yes you can also place more databases you can get really really specific with notion last of this page is my office where i can write down anything that i wanted to create so let's say we have YouTube or Instagram content. With each idea, I already have a template to organize my ideas. And yes, this is the video that I'm filming right now. So that's super fun. Then back to the top page, you can embed files, links, and Spotify playlists. I also placed my 2021 wishes here. I don't call it goals because I get that fear of not reaching that goal by the end of the year so i just call it wishes it gives me a daily reminder of what i strive for by the end of the year so moving on these three sections are composed of different links to different pages located in my notion which is neat so that i won't have to keep going back to the front page so we got documentation first and it's pretty self-explanatory i document things that i want to remember so we got the library first and one of my wishes this year is to read more because I really miss reading. In this page, I get to track what I read, books that I loved or hated, so you got the ratings, and my to be read pile. I'm also trying to make a habit of writing my thoughts on what I read because it really breaks my heart when I try to remember about books I've read in the past but I just can't remember at all. We got what's it about, how I discovered it, and then my thoughts. As you can see, I went full on ramble and became really specific so that in the future I could just go back to it and remember as much as possible. I almost forgot. But in databases, you can change the view. So let's say, um, so you got the table, right? then you can choose gallery view so like this for you to see different book covers and yes you can add another view so let's say um let's say board so it would look like that but i just stick with the gallery view and the table view and let's go to the next one which is the vault and in the vault is the most embarrassing page for me because i track my expenses and my incomes literally me trying to regret spending a lot of money <laughs> so third is the cinema this is similar to the library but here i just track the tv shows that i'm watching or finished and the movies that i watched and finished so yeah pretty explanatory as so well then you can change again the view then last is the gemini obsessions so this is a fun page that i created to log the things that my mom and i love so we have the greenhouse first and this is to track my mom's growing plant collection and to see the alive the suffering and the dead plant babies so how do i see if which plant is alive so i can filter it 
So add a filter. You choose the property that you want to view. So you got life. Then you select which one is suffering. Then the next thing that I logged is Carmen's Best Ice Cream. And this is just super random, but my mom and I want to try all the Carmen's Best Ice Cream flavors. Okay, so... I'm gonna skip backlog because these are the pages found in the front cover of the Notion. So we got daily and we have my habit tracker because my memory tension is again deteriorating and I don't know maybe I could use I could use this for health purposes in the future. Yeah, so I just track the things that I want to make sure to do every day as much as possible. Yeah, and then you just check whether you did these things or not and of course you can add more to the habit tracker the next two things are my morning routine and night routine and i just record the current routines during quarantine same goes for the night routine and then the meal tracker so similar motive to the daily tracker um, i just wanted to note my meals for the day for the week by the end of the week what i do is that i archive it so let's say i'm done with this so i'll put it here then i could see the things that i ate in my previous week so it's all in here and then i can start a new week so it's automatic that i get to generate the same template as the previous meal trackers and right below it is a shopping list which I barely use now since I'm stuck at home and I don't do grocery shopping. So we're done with the home. Now let's go to Nikki's Kanken. So this is the second most visited page and I use this for college. So this is what it looks like at first. So quick links. These are more links that will direct me to different pages. So for academia, I place here the school task tracker which is also the one you saw um, during the homepage. And yes, this is synced to the one in the home. So whatever I place here, I also see in the homepage. At the bottom is my school calendar. Just to note any activities or events that I should um, take note of or remember. Yes, you can resize the picture. And then next is notes. It's still pretty empty since I just started classes. And then monthly log. I plan to place my monthly calendars that were seen from the good notes a while ago. So for the last page, I created this in high hopes for my future interior design subjects or other majors. Because based on my experiences with my deadliest major, interior design number N, if it's 1, 2, 3, 4, it requires a lot of plates, a lot of sheets for one plate. So this interior design board is where I dump things that I'm most likely to forget. So for example, we go to plate 1. I made a log already of the things that um, are usually required for one plate. So we have concept paper, which I made a template already based on experience. So all I have to do is just fill out the things that I need to place. And then here we have mood board. You can embed a link of your mood board and then references. And here we have goals for the space. So for example, apply a sustainable design. So I'll be using this page to uh, track down my sheet requirements here so whether it's floor plan rcp floor covering layout elevations etc and i hope this would be super useful because i could track the improvements i should make and then we have ffne um basically ffne is it's a inventory of all the things that you're going to use in your design proposals and let me tell you i hate ffne so much because it can be really time consuming if you don't if you choose not to be organized it's an inventory of things you'll be using in your design so you got like product 
brand code type whether it's floor finish wall finish furniture fixtures appliances lighting i know there are still more however these are the things that are required by my prof then you have material of your product if applicable and then dimensions if applicable as well and then where you found that and the location you're gonna use your products and then of course the quantity if applicable as well i have high hopes for this to manage my project so let's go back to nikki's can can so moving on i also placed my class schedule here and then along with that are my classes for the term so these are more of like the specific things so we got course description and then the syllabus and email hours and your big projects and then i also plan to embed any links or class lectures that my professor posted in my school website because i really find it tiring to keep logging on and logging off just to access the files i will show you an example so here like like this one yeah it's convenient and then lecture notes just open it and then there the file is already embedded so you can just wait till it loads and then just scroll down so on the left side i note down my meetings and events for the week and i can just add new meetings with the template already so i just replace and then right beside it is the school task tracker oh this is the board view and you can just change it up so if you want table view and you have calendar view if this is what you prefer you can do this view as well um i'm still not sure if i'm gonna remove this but i will see later on so we're done with nikki's can can so the next and last page for my notion is an index so we have reference so for my future self it's still empty but as you can see it's already categorized into different um columns on the kind of references i would take note of and then fitness it's still untouched because i really don't have a clear goal on my fitness and then words is just for me to track down like the words that struck me or the words that i like to remember so i am someone who is not super familiar into a lot of filipino words and phrases so i'm trying to make it a habit to practice my filipino words then next is notebook um here i would make different notebooks of i guess different ideas that i have and then meal tracker this is what you saw a while ago as well then quotes similar to words but these are the quotes that i like to remember as well and then wish list and just place here the products that maybe i could purchase but first i will think about it because i gotta save money for the necessary things and then recipes it's still empty because i barely cook and lastly is the tarot database and it was already here when i duplicated the template and i find it really cool that i get to see the different tarots and what they are yeah just something fun for the notion for sure i feel like i would add more pages to it but this is what i have so far and hopefully this would manage my projects well and let's move on to the next segment of my sorting out my life so this is preparation three this is the part where i address anything in my room that annoys me welcome to the annual segment of me decluttering my room so this is the second year last year i was with gail and it's sad she's not with me um not because i didn't pay her for her cleaning services but of course it's quarantine so i'm gonna like spin a wheel on which part i'm gonna start cleaning so yeah um enjoy seeing me clean by myself
I finally feel at peace and just kind of ready to face the new term. Um, you guys will pray for me, right? That I would survive this term. I'm gonna go end the video right now. Um, aware or not aware, I think this is gonna be a super long video. And let's just hope for like a good 2021. So until the next video, bye!